Okay, hello, I'm back with a new build and it's called the Predator's Mark set. But let me get started by telling you what this build is about. So, um, it's a balanced build that I believe is, is more for like group play. You're more of a, like the tactician build, but you're not really tank, your, your utility, your your CC, your bleeding them, you're, you're able to like, use, well, the build is mainly based on the Caduceus, I don't really see a lot of people using this build, because I do find it's quite different, so as you can see, the main build is the Caduceus, that, that this is the gun I've built here around, and it's because of the cool headed talent, as you can see, it's got cool headed, restored and self preserved. But the the cool held the cool headed is the main reason we're using this gun. I've got mods rate of fire on the legs and the legs, headshot damage and crit chance, horizontal horizontal stability and crit chance and stability and accuracy because the Caduceus does have high recoil. So, under the second gun, oh, you can really use anything, but if you see my other video, um, I'll say a sniper with skilled on the third talent, anyone would do. Or a brute, well, I have a brutal one here, but my other one's in the, it's in the bank, but a skilled, my skilled M44, or you could use your AUG. A deadly AUG, as long as I would say that third time is it's really hard to get brutal when you're not 2600 firearms. So I would say you want any any high that like, brutal, deadly, skilled, responsive on that on that third talent slot is perfect. Like the term is really good as well. But the difference between the term and ankle headed you will see in my video. So, um, let's begin. I'll show you what the mark gave is consisting of. So, Predator's Mark is a standard roll, 656 armor, and I remember rolling this for the second mod slot, which is you need a major attribute to roll this. And I'm using a standard mod skill power and electronics with armor. Even though that electronics is low, I can roll it again for a better roll. So the mask, a stamina predator's mask, the mage attribute is really important here and that skill power is essential on the roll, I don't know what else to really say but you really need that on and on the mod I've got a stamina with skill power mod. The knee pads, um, final measure knee pads. Uh, stamina roll again, and I'll say this, the, the two main roles on the major attribute you're looking for is the exotic damage and the armor, which I both have, but um, I didn't get a mod slot on this, but only because the two major attributes were really, really essential for me in the build. The Predator's Mark backpack. Here I've got it rolled on electronics, I would say in the build you'd want, here it's like, I would say three pieces of standard gear, one piece electronics here on the backpack as you can see and you want major attribute skill power rolled on this and as you can see my mod is fire arms out of armor, you definitely want max armor which is three, five, three, five, four. Next is my gloves. So I've got Predator's Mark Gloves that is firearms rolled. This is the one piece firearms I have and the backpack was the electronics as you, as you saw. So here I've got on the major attributes, um, the critic chance and critic damage is essential but the shotgun damage I couldn't, I couldn't really roll it again because I rolled it for the damage, the critic damage. But obviously you'd want either whatever gun you're using SMG, or you can have that like, health on kill, which is pretty good. Okay, and finally, on the holster, I have 
my final measure whole star and it's a three stat with armor roll and I, I always roll all my horses with armor because it does give you a lot of armor for for that piece of major attributes so let me go on to the build itself as you can see it's on 198 198 one power ups and one of about 102k health and 1969 skill power and our oh, um these two like having 1900 firearms and electronics is what you need for that cool headed on the caduceus as you can see my crit damage is not that good but it's really a pulse build or um as you can see when you're using your skills like it's much better as you can see of the main thing is the health armor having capped armor and I've got a 60% exotic damage resilience which is what I've been looking for I do need some burn resistance and I'll say shot resistance is I'll say burn and shot are probably your main ones you need to go for resistance and I have none of that which is disappointing okay so let me show you why the Caduceus is so powerful okay so let me use the skill here. This is using the AG, the AG to my skill and pal. So I'm using them, nothing. Easy. And it's taking a while. Look at it. It's like my cooldown is it's still cooling down. And my cooldown rate is 36 seconds on my pulse and 23 seconds on my first aid we can do that that's that's not bad at all 34k skill power is high but this is when the caduceus comes into play so let me use my pulse and my health if you go for the headshots as you can see before they've even went off cooldown they're back It's just, it's actually amazing. Like, it's such a great utility build for your, for other players when you're in the group. And with that bleed from the Predator's Mark, it just gives you more CC, more utility, and it's a really fun build before 1.3 comes out. And I'm sure a lot of people have the gear now to like build into something amazing. Like 100 100k health is is good enough to do what like what you you're able to do with 34k skill power, and your DPS ain't even that bad. Um. Okay, so I'll have a a, a video further on if people want to see it. But that's it for my Predator's Mark build guide for electronics support CC utility. Whatever you name it, this one can do it. Look, and you can even see really high power smart covers. Everything's just, it's, a, it's actually really, really good all around build. So thanks for watching. Let me do the salute. Thank you.